Hey right, guys, I'm Dr. Life 70 from the future. Now I come to give you a message. The end is near. Oh, and also, I have something cool that I want to show you guys. This cool block right here. Okay, never mind. Hi guys, it's Dr. Lion78 here. Sorry that I took so long. But I'm going to teach you guys how to make color text in Minecraft. I've been researching online for floating text in Minecraft. So I tried different websites, but they all say that you need to have a third-party software. So I finally found a video on how to make flowing text in Minecraft that uses a command generator. And I had an idea. When the YouTuber inserted the command generator from the command generator into the command block, I decided to analyze the command. And I have learned something from it. In our tutorial, we are going to start with something simple. We're going to start with the slash to rock command. You can use the navigator in the description to navigate your way throughout the video if you if you want. If you don't need help with the slash to rock command or something. I do like to do things by hand because when you do, you will like you will still know how to do them if the generator stops working. It also gives you knowledge on how to do things by hand or learn how things work. Okay, so let's get started. So slash to rock. So let's just say we want to say this to me. Then you have to put quotations throughout the whole throughout the whole thing. Like put text. Then let's say we want to say this is a test. Like that's usually my phrase when I'm testing something. Then color. There are different colors you can put. Like dark red make sure you when you're using dark in front of it you put underscore dark red red gold yellow green dark green aqua dark aqua blue dark blue light purple but make sure you you have you have light in front of it for some reason there's no such thing as purple there's only light purple which they didn't put that for the others, but never, never mind about that. In the dark purp, there's dark, there's also dark purple, black, and white. So we're just gonna use yellow for now. You don't have to do that. I just like to do that. And then you have this is a test. Now let's say we don't want it to be just that color. We want to also have bold. So you have to put bold true. Then now you have it bolded. Now let's say there's different ones you can put. You can put underlined, italic, strike through, and upscaling. But let's show what underlined looks like. Now we have this is a test underlined. Now let's move on to italic. It's italicized. Then we have strike through. Now it's now we have a, a line across it, like striking through the words this is a test. Then last but not least, obfuscated. And we just got something like that thing over there. Okay, let's say you don't want to have just one of them. You want to have multiple. Let's say you want to have it bolded and underlined. So you simply put that comma, then underlined. Not like that. Underlined. True. 
Now you have it bolded and underlined. Or you want three, maybe. Let's put italic. So remember to put commas so that way you could put more than one. You see now it says this is a test and and like a telesize bolded and underlined. Now let's say you want you don't want just that specific thing, you want a different color or something. You have to put extra so you can have more things like that. Square bracket because you, because you're making a list now. Then a curly brace to make it your first one. So you can start from there. For text, let's put something like comma, hi. If you're using a sentence or something, make sure you put space. If you're like changing all the different colors and, and bold and stuff like that. Because if you don't, they'll be close together. So that's why I would put space between them. Let's, let's go with dark purple. And we want this one true, but we, since we don't want underlined or italicized, you have to put them as false. Then you put curly brace and square bracket after that. You should have this ending. So now you have it like that. You say test high. But what happens if you forget those by putting them false if you don't want them? Since we already did put underlined earlier. You have something like that. You got them underlined, bolded, and italicized. Not removing bold will be the same thing. It'll be, it'll, it'll still be bolded. So it's like the same as own. Having no color there, you just put hide. It'll come out as the same, the same format as it'll come out the same format as this they test. But make sure when you when you're like having you're making long ones for instance like a long message make sure you don't repeat yourself like that because then the command book won't even display the message so that each simple mistake can happen even putting a semicolon it without forgetting to put a colon that can also mess things up oops Or maybe you, you were using commas earlier, like put hi, then you mistakenly put this when you're trying to put color. Because instead of putting hi over there, you put in the other side. It'll come out like that and not and not wanting and the comment doesn't show because you put it somewhere else. Or like I mentioned oh yeah, never, never mind, I'll get to that later. Now what if we say we fix things up first? And we, what if we say we want more than one? Like you want another one. Do you put a comma this time and put text? Because we already started with extra earlier. You don't need to put another extra. Because this is for a list thing. So let's see. Let's put my name is is Dr. Nice seventy eight. Let's say we want this blue. Then we're just gonna put the same thing underline. True. No, no, not true. Uh, false. I mean. Now the reason I'm doing that, putting uppercase false, because I'm gonna try something. Just close curly brace, don't forget that.
just put a make up a scale like between it like put a it doesn't have to be a it can be any letter and we want this to be let's see um aqua let's put aqua now let's say we do want to bold it no no don't repeat myself then underline no no underline actually And this one we're going to say true. And let's just copy this because I'm going to put it at the end. And also this saves you time. Like how am I doing that? You push shift, then put your scroll key like left or right. That's how you highlight. Now copy, put control C. If you're on Windows, it's control C. Now to get to the end faster, you put control end. Or to get to the end, control home. Let's put a comma. Then let's paste that right there. Now let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's why I say you put a letter like A like to make one letter long. It doesn't have to be A, you can put B or something. But that's how you use up a skate it. Okay, so that's how you do it then. So, pretty cool, right? I'll teach you guys more about Tara in another video. Yeah, something went wrong. Okay, um, anyways, so we're gonna next move on to how to put color text on signs. So we're going to start off by putting this, then we're going to put a step block, we're going to do it just right above it. So you put, then we're going to use, yeah just above it, by one block. Standing sign, it's no. Standing sign. Let's put zero. Well, actually, this can change. Let replace. Then this is where it comes in di and different. It's similar to tell raw command, but you will put text one colon. Then you put quotation curly brace. Then this is where it gets different. You use something like that text you have to put these things between it like before text and after this quote this little slash backslash not this slash not that one that's be that way then you put quotation so yeah this is gonna be kind of different then let's put this is a test in red this time That's what I say. It's basically the same thing. It's just that you just have different text. You, I mean, you just have different different way to do it. Then make sure not to do that because then it it won't really work properly. So make sure not to do that because you don't. It sometimes happens if you forget to hold shift on your key. Maybe it's bold. You want this to be true. Oh, you know it. Yeah, both true. Then let's say we want more than that, but extra, just like we did earlier. By the way, text one is just the first line of the sign. That's what text one is. And let's say we want this to be, let's see, uh, white or gold. Let's use gold. 
gold I kind of use gold as an orange thing because it looks it looks kind of the way it looks like it doesn't actually look gold it looks more like bronze or or brown or orange that's what I can that's what I use gold for you can use gold whatever you want actually but I'm sorry if I offend you guys so sorry okay now let's say we don't want this to be bolded or let's put true actually then close this and make sure you put a quotation because that's actually everything in a quotation then that another query brace and this is what it looks like oh hide didn't come out because sometimes that happens like if something doesn't come out inside the sign then it means it's too long so it only puts whatever it could fit like this is a test or putting putting it in a it like you can keep trying to get it like right like let's say you want this to face this way instead so now face that way so it's more tilted so you do the three you get it facing all the way over here it's kind of tilted still but we want to complete facing us so we put four they're not facing us. Now let's say since height didn't fit, let's remove that from the extra. You can you just delete just this part, the bracket. Then let's close close it. Quotation comma text two. Then you put quotation in that. Then delete that. You just need that. That's all you need at the end. Because you didn't use extra. Now let's update this. So now you have high. Just right there. So yeah. It's pretty cool, right? So it's basically the same thing. And I'm going to teach you more about, about text on signs later on. Like in another video. Yeah, I'll be right back, by the way. Okay, I'm back. I actually fixed the problem. Okay. Now next we're gonna learn we're gonna learn about the slash title command. So just like tell raw command, this time using 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 the so it's basically the same thing except you don't have these little fancy slashes this time, just like the sign one. So just to tell you that. So we use title. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna write that. Title, let's say you wanna say it to me, and we want just a standard title. And we just put text. Let's say this is a title, or let's put title. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a title. Okay, good. Color. Let's say we want green. No, and uh, bold and underline. This is a title. That's what you get. And again, just like before, if you want to, let's see, a comma. If you want to, if you want more than that, you could put extra uh, square bracket and curly brace then we'll put high so let's put dark green no, bold um, let's see false let's put false then have this at the end, a square, a curly brace, and a square bracket. Oh yeah, sometimes you forget to let's see what happened here. Oh, I forgot the word text. Sometimes you run into problems like 
like that. There we go. Oh, and also I forgot to take off the underline. There we go. Now in title command, you can also put. No, I just do it. Paste it this way, okay. Control V, there to paste. Now, how did I do that? I put, now I was just put cut, I didn't delete it, I just cut it. I cut and paste. So to cut, you put Control X, then put Control V to paste. Let's put another one with that. Now, let's say we want a subtitle. So put title, then let's put to me again. Or you can put it at all players if you want. Let's put it at all players if you want. Dang, I didn't tell you that earlier, so sorry about that. And sorry that I might have been repeating myself. Something happened. I for I kind of stopped recording for some. But never mind. Anyways, put subtitle. Then let's put again. We're gonna put this is a subtitle. Then let's put color. Uh, let's put dark blue this time. Bold would be. Let's put it. Let's put it also bolded. Now how does these works is that we put impulse for for it to be run first. The chain would be after this command. That's what that's what the chain would mean. But if you put even like a chain, well never mind. I'll teach you that later in another video. But yeah, that's why I use chain. This is a title high. Then we got a little subtitle thing. This is a subtitle. Putting multicolor would be the same thing. Like you would put extra square bracket is a uh, curly brace. Oops, I put a. <laughs> anyway, see, and what if we say we want to change uh, the timing of the title? You could even say this in in a chat. It doesn't have to always be command blocks. You can also put it like on the chat uh, command. It would be this. That's a chat command. Let's put times. Now, instead of putting your text, you're gonna put. Here's how the timing works. Your first number would be how much it'll fade in. Which 20 will be ticks. 20 ticks, which is one second. 40 ticks will be will be two seconds so we can put fade in for two seconds let's say we want to be displayed for 140 ticks with seven seconds then we want to fade out of the screen for 20 sec for, for one second I mean one second seven seconds and this is this is two seconds fading in seven seconds to be displayed there and one second to fade out now it'll say that then you can run this again See, it took two seconds to load in, and then it's just playing there for about seven seconds. Then it's fading out, in, like, in one second. So that's basically how it works. Oh, and it's one more thing you can we can even do. Let's say we also would like to have... Let me see, where can I put this? I'll put it here. Let's put title, my name. Let's we say we want a action bar. Now how do I do that? You can put tab if you want to switch. That's if you, you forgot what it was. You can put tab in your on your on your keyboard.
and let's say go north like if you a good from adventure map for map makers color let's see I think I'll choose hmm light purple let's choose light purple sorry for the delay it doesn't always have to be bold you can you can choose it if you want and leaving it quicker without having to put done is push enter then that's how you do it then you got you got just right there it says go north Like you kind of see just there so that's what the action bar does and that's it that's basically what the title command does in fact that's actually everything about the title command so you get the you can so what do you think it's cool right anyways let's go with the next command so we're going to be learning next about floating text in minecraft now this one is where you get really fancy with commands so to start to start up, you put set block. Let's say we want. Let's say you want it just above by two blocks. So let's put standing sign. It doesn't matter which way actually. Then zero replace. Then you put text one. Actually, you can put anything. It doesn't have to be just the text. You don't have to put in the center thing. So click here. You can just put it blank if you want. Then let's put. Yeah, just click click here. Oh, right, never mind. Let's see. Click here, please. Then that's it. You can put this. Actually, no. You're also gonna put comma. Click event. Then curly. I mean curly brace. Action. Oops, no, not like that. Then action. Then run command then value it's important you put this because if you don't put them it won't it will not work now the reason I'm doing this is so you can be able to put color text you can make a cut your text in color it'll come out in your command block as well then put colon then here you can put like slash Oh no, no, never mind. It has to be slash set block. You know, slash set block. Command block. Now it doesn't matter which way the command block is facing either. You can face any way. Then command. Then here you can you can start putting your thing. Let's say we want to put a floating, let's say since we're doing a floating text, put summon or slash summon, it doesn't matter with the slash in there. You can, in command blocks, you don't have to put a slash to put a command, you can you can just leave it out if you want. Just put armor stand. Custom name. Now let's say, or no, let's put custom name. Yeah, custom name. Let's say we want this to be displayed in red. So there are many kinds of different colors. The same list, except for dark red, we're gonna put slash u 4 which that that's the code for for dark red, or for red. Regular red, gold, yellow, 
it's easier to remember if you're trying to memorize it. Remember that you're always going to start with slash u 0 a 7 We don't put, you forget the 7 when you're putting like aqua, it'll come out like a symbol. Which I don't, haven't, I don't know that far yet, but. Anyways, let's just put dark red. I'll put in the, I'll put a link in the description for gamepedia.com. Like, it, it, it gives you like a full list of, of, of different, of the different colors they are. Let's say we want to bold it. Now this time you put an L in front, make it bolded. Let's put high. Then let's make sure we reset it. I mean I don't know what happens if you put we don't forget to reset it. Okay, basically what happens you don't you don't put reset, you just have the rest of the command like in color. Unless you reset it. So the R and the DN is just for resetting. Okay, and then let's also put custom name visible one because that's that's the only way you can get it to display. You put a curly brace right there, another one, slash this. Then two more, a quotation, and then another credit brace. You make sure you have all of that at the end. Done. Now let's run this. Okay, it looks like we forgot something. Sometimes you have problems like that, like like something happened there. Some 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 rest some people who are good at command blocks they were deleted and start over, but I would say that that is one way to fix your problem, but other way would be you actually find it, but if but we can't find it yet, you can start over if you want. But stop saying that. The action is there. Fun command. What's it say? The good thing about using this is that it tells you about what happened. It does give you clues sometimes, and you put okay. I see what's wrong. Sometimes you forget that little mistake that you can throw everything off. There you go. Right click it. You guess what click event does? Then you have this. After that, you can do this. Now you have it here. Now to make it invisible, I usually remove. I usually remove. Let's just teleport it here. Oops. I mean, very much about you have to do that. There we go. I didn't want to delete the command blocks. Now you would simply go here, put entity data. Sorry about that. Then x equal. No, not not that. Okay, let's put type equal armor stand. Raise equal one because we're right there, so we just put one block away. Then let's put invisible. Then we want no gravity as well because we don't want it to fall down constantly. Once after that, then there you go, you have a floating text. There you go, you get a better view. 
Can I rename him? No problem, you can rename him if you want. So let's say... Let's copy this argument right here. So we want to rename this to just like I did earlier with the sign, you can do that. So you can rename things like that. Oh right, it's not. Let's put I think it's let's just say three blocks away. That's what happened. Found nothing. Oops, this. There we go. You see, we renamed it to this say test. We get daytime. If they test, you can rename it to high. But anyways, you can pick different. You can pick different colors as well. Like it's the same thing, except I'm putting instead of putting extra, you could put. You have to put the whole thing again, actually. Like if you, if you don't want it to be bolded, you don't have to put. You don't have to put that thing. Like the slash u zero zero eight seven l. You don't have to put that. So let's say we want a gold. So. A slash U zero zero A seven six will be gold. Hi. I'm cool. <laughs> just just be casual, but I'm cool. And this is just quicker, instead of using a redstone block all the time, you could put always active. There we go. You could put as many well let's just put this first. There it is. Hi, I'm cool. Oh yeah, we put no gravity, so that's why floating. But if you get the point. Sorry. I would put another one. It's basically you just keep doing this uh, however you like. Let's put A. Let's put it for just green, light green. Just green, actually. It's called just green. Let's say we want it underlined, which will be, let's see, what was the underline again? Be right back, guys. Okay, so it's N actually. So that's U zero zero A seven N will be underlined. Let's put nice to meet you. I'm sorry that it's coming out weird. I just put I kept putting spaces actually. You don't have to put spaces. You just put them together actually. Now, to, if you want to run it again, make sure you put needs resto and always active to reset it. There you go. Now we get this. Actually. Oh yeah, I, I have another one over there.
the video. I just don't want to delete this. I am cool. Nice to meet you. That's what it says. That's so that's how it works. Now next we're gonna learn about mouse and color text. All right. It's basically the same thing, you basically set it up the same way, like what I like to do is copy the whole thing Which you put Control A to highlight all, Control C Then Control V It's basically slash set block, just two above you Standing sign zero, replace, text one, just a review by the way Make sure you have this again if you're trying to do it by hand, you can type it again, but I like to copy it. Then click here, please. You don't have to put that. You, you can even put it. In, you don't have to display anything if you want. It'll still work with click, click event. Action run command value set block. Command block zero place. Then there's your command. So instead of slash summon armor stand, we're going to say slash summon wolf. Let's just say dog in gold. A7 over there at the end. And make sure you have this at the end if you might have changed it or something. So make sure you have that at the end. Then you can put no AI if you want, but I would not make it stand still. Or not? Nothing. No, 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 never mind. You right click, needs active, dog. Let's make it my pet. With the bone. There it is. Carefully. Good, it didn't it didn't it didn't get hurt. Okay. So you can do it like that. Dog. Sit down please. What if we call, let's put dark, dark green, which will be two. We're gonna name it slime. Yeah, just slime. Oops, no, okay, sorry. I, I forgot to change the mob. Oh, sorry. Slime. There we go. I forgot to change the slime actually. <laughs> then we just have a little slime. It's the name slime. It works on any in any entities actually, any mob. Or just say let's put a blaze here and name it Mr. Fire or something. It will make this yellow. Or oh, you know what? Let's see. I think I'll put dark red. You can do it in rainbow if you like, but you have to keep constantly keep changing the. Oh, let's try that. I'll show you how to do a pattern. Put M slash U zero zero A seven six slash U zero zero A seven L R E will be yellow. Dot. I'm sorry if you're getting lost, you, you can kind of remind or, or slow motion if you want. Then A7, let's see, oh yeah, there is my pattern, red. Bold, uh, I'm just making them all bold. For, let's start with F for fire, 7, 6, that's U, 2, 3, A, 7, L, I. R 
to do it a seven four no four not five seven L E there Mr. Fire That's how you use a pattern You can do the You can do the same thing with with flowing text if you want It's basically you just change this to armor stand Like this No, not traditional. Now we got Mr. Fire right there. So it works the same thing. You just gotta change it to our stand. Now we're now last but not least we're gonna learn we're gonna learn about books and color text. Oh yeah, there's Mr. Slime over there. So what we do here is, if we're gonna like basically the books you put that should give then your name. You know what? I forgot something. We're not moving on to books. What about displaying items in color? So basically, you do the same thing. I'm so sorry I didn't I forgot that. So we will copy again the whole thing. Is there a review set block? Let's put two standing zero. Text one, text, click here please. Make sure you don't forget this backslash and quotation, click event, action, run command, value. Set block, command block, zero place, command. There you go. That's just some. Well, actually, it is summon. Then you would put item. Then you would put. Let's see. I'll be right back. I was gonna look for the command again. Now, if you want to save commands, you can use a notepad to save your commands if you like. So that's how you would save commands. Like in case something happens or you deleted your command block by mistake. Item. No, I found it by the way. ID. Then let's put a written book. Okay, sorry about that. Now I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be a written book, it can be any item, but for written book, you will, for example, for a diamond, you will simply put diamond. I'll show you the book another another time. Okay, count one. Then tag. Oh, you know what? Oh, never mind, it's not tag. Never mind, sorry. You close this. And this to go to a curly brace. And if you have a tag like that, then you need then you would need a another curly brace for that. To close that one. That's how the curly brace will work. Then you could put the custom name and things like that. But displaying them, you will have to put the end, very end, and one and true would mean the same thing. So like if you want to display, to not display would be false or zero, but we want them to be displayed actually. 
Then let's put pick up delay. Now, so I forgot who said this, but 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 they put something. Well, basically, we put we put a really large number for like thirty two thousand seven six six hundred seven hundred sixty seven. For example, if you want it to be like displayed forever, then put actually yeah that's the best for delay, but it'll be like forever. But negative thirty two seven six eight, so it doesn't dis it doesn't it doesn't despawn. No gravity one if you don't want it to. Then that's it. It's just then keep it like that. It's too curly brace. Remember that. Do this. Oh yeah. Must delete something. Looks like I forgot something again. There's too many. So did I put a comma? Yes. Oh, okay, I see my problem. Let's see, uh... Probably shouldn't have done that, so let's put that. Let's delete one curly brace right there. Yeah, it's that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot to rename it. So, <laughs> I forgot to rename it to Diamond. I put Mr. Fire. Sorry for lying. But, yeah, I should have renamed it before doing that. There we go. But anyway, that's how you would display it. Like, it's kind of like the same thing over there. Like those two. I had a written books work. That, that one's different now. So let's put a written book. Written book. And count. One, well, it's important you put count so it displays. Damage, you don't have to put damage, it's optional. Then let's put tag author. This is for you to. This is for you. Well, author doesn't matter actually, you don't have to put author. But let's just put just in case author. Book. Then two curly braces. That's how written books will work. And there you go. Oh, I forgot to rename it again. So I just put Mr. Fire. So, yeah. Forgot to rename this one. But anyway, you get the point. It's... You know what? Let me fix that right now. There you go, now we have book. Okay, now 
we're going to next learn about books and color text. So we do here this is a two part command. Oh yeah, if you don't if you didn't know this is a big this little big command over here. This is for you could take a close look or if you want me to slow down a little I can slow down if you want. It's just like a repetition of a slash zero eight seven four and six. Put M for Mr. Fire R dot F I R right there E So you would basically repeat the repeat the pat the different pattern. You wanna bold it you have to put the you have to put you have to put that there. Slash zero eight seven L. If you don't, it will not be bolded. And then slash zero through eight seven R is to reset. But yeah, it's just a review in case you guys were still wondering. Then let's just copy this command real quick. Let's remove this. It's not it's not no gravity in this. And it's not custom names. We're not because we're not displaying anything. That's why it wouldn't be that. We'll come back to that in a little bit. But here's a review in case some of you just just got here. Slash set block. We're putting this to make a sign above us. It's for text one. Text. Click here, please. You don't have to be put click here, please. You can leave it blank if you want. Click event action run command value set block. Leave it the same location like relative coordinates command block. Doesn't matter which way. Replace command. Then that's where you're gonna put. You're gonna start. Give. No, not that. Slash give. Put myself as Dr. Lion78. Then it's written book one zero for no for is no data type is just a regular book. We know let's start with yeah yeah written book. Let's start with written book. So we're going to put author pattern. You can do the pattern like four slash u zero zero a seven l d slash u zero zero a seven l r's. Oops, no seven c slash u zero zero. This is this is the rainbow, by the way, if you're wondering. No r slash u zero zero a seven six slash u zero zero a seven. So dot space slash u three zero eight seven e slash u three zero eight seven l l seven a three zero eight seven l a is green by the way c is red four is the dark red e is yellow and a is, is green i slash u three zero eight seven two dark green Zero zero a seven l o slash u zero zero a seven. Let's see what I leave off. Oh yeah, a for light for just aqua. Zero a seven l o n zero a seven three for dark aqua slash u zero zero a seven l seven. A seven nine for blue slash U two zero A seven L eight. Then let's reset it slash U zero A seven R. Now title. We find where it's a two part command because because we need we need to do that because you can't really put put the text color, you can't do that. You have to put that. 
that doesn't give you that as, a, as an option, unfortunately. Unless you do, you can say it in the comments if you actually did find a way to do it without putting without doing a two part command. This is part one, by the way. So, as I was saying, let's put 0087 gold. Let's put this gold, by the way, and make it bold. In. Let's say a let's say a book. This has you do. Oops, no. Zero zero a seven r. When you're some when you when you're basically starting to do this, sometimes you may say it wrong and say slash u u. Like I understand, like it's barely you're barely starting. But sorry for saying that. But yeah, sometimes I make that mistake too. I sometimes say u zero u u, but it's slash u zero zero. So it's avoid confusion. After that. You're done with that, and now let's move on to part two. Now this is where you start be resuming. And make sure not to click somewhere else because you'll be like that and put another. So yeah, don't do that. You be careful where you click, or you put a comment right there. So make sure after this things end, then you're safe. Or use your scroll key to go backwards by one. Then that's where you resume. Page. Now square bracket. Wait a minute, I'll be right back. Pages actually, it's pages. Then you put a quotation. Now, this is why I, I do a two part because quotations don't actually work with, with when you do it. Because then I'll tell you like it's a it's like an e it tells you like you can't use quotation or something. It'll tell you it, it won't allow you to use quotation. It'll give you a problem. Like for instance, let's do this, like to show you why I don't we don't use it. Then it's, after that we put a slash text no backwards text hi the and it tells you Legal use of this uh, of backslash and quotation. That's why you can't do that. So let's take that out. Then there you go. So that's why you have to do that first. Pages, quotation, then curly brace, backslash, and this. We're doing the backslashing again. Let's put hi color let's put dark purple then let's make this bolded True. Close this. Oh, actually, yeah, close this. And quotation that. The square bracket. We got a book, and it says hi. It says a book by Dr. Line 78. So I was doing a pattern to show you how to do a rainbow. So it's so you get something fancy like that. Or let's say you want it more than that. So you again put extra, then a square bracket, and a curly brace, text. You put comma, it input I'm a color. And let's put Let's see what would be a color. Green. Not bolded. Let's let's take out the bold. Right, yeah. Let's put underline instead. False. Make sure not to do. Not to do that because sometimes you misspell false. Like it might happen. 
the underline then true we want this to be underline the another one would be text let's put a book period color you can keep going if you want with curly braces and comma And we use dark aqua for, for this one. Let's put bolded true underline true. Something happened. Then let's close pretty phrase and then a square bracket. So you, have, so you have something like that. Put a phrase square bracket in. Square bracket and this at the end. Make sure you have that at the end. If you don't, then it might not, it will not work. Then you should get a book. Hi, I'm a, bo a book. It's not perfect, but you can add the period at the end if you, if you don't want it to look like that. There we go. To make this neater, I just added space and put and moved the period over there, so it looks neater. Hi, I'm a a a book. <laughs> okay, yeah, I repeated myself. So let's remove the a over there then. So don't think you have to make minor s like that. Hi, I'm a book. That make that looks better. Now adding different pages, you could add you can add different another page. But since we already closed the quotation, you could put comma, then you could put another quotation after that, then you could start again. Dash text. Put another, this is another page then. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to do that, okay, now. Color. Let's put uh, just red, just red. Simple. True. Close this, and then have another quotation. So you have this at the end. Since we never use extra, you must have this at the end. So that's how you make another page. Hi, I'm a book. This is another page. Sometimes when it when it doesn't fit all in one line, it makes an it makes it makes a new line like that. Or let's say we don't want it like that, we want slash n slash n to make two spaces down. Hi, I mean, this is another page like that. So that's how slash n works. There we go. I grab something, yeah, I grab something. Okay, now how do I do that to get the empty and put the same thing down? You pull control and then middle mouse click to get something like that. Oh, oh no, not that. Control middle click with your mouse. That's why I recommend you don't destroy the command right away to get that.
But yeah, you get you get yours. But yeah, this was a lengthy tutorial, but um sorry about that. But this concludes this video, so bye, may God bless you all. Oh yeah, and remember one thing. If you try to make another page Make sure you put you can put another comma at the end if you want. Then another quotation. So you can have like three pages. Then make sure you have make sure you end your quotation in your square bracket. There you go. Is that well first let me change the time. The reason why we should be doing something like I'll be right back real quick. Not that. There you go. The reason we should be using the sign method because if you just put it like that without the So let's say you want to delete all this stuff and you're trying to make a flowing text with Like for instance the one I have right now with pasted command It is just saying RK machine okay, If you do that it's just gonna be saying that stuff and we don't want that, don't we? <laughs> so that's the reason why you would need a sign. And also things to note is that the reason why we have to we have to put text one like that because if you don't include that one like for instance you want to start in the middle when making signs it'll tell you some, it'll give you something like this up Because it will give you something like that, or I'll, I'll show you what the error is. How am I doing the coordinates? You just put tap in the key. That's how you do the coordinates. And also, if you're, if you're not looking at anything, it'll just and you push tab, it'll give you those relative coordinates. Anyways, well, back where I was saying, like the signs, the reason why we need that, the if you want to start in the middle. Because let's say if we do start in the middle, instead of starting in the beginning, we're making color text on signs. Yes, you can do this on chat text as well. Oops. There you go. It'll give you a blank version, or you try to put slash block data, which that does, it just, ed it just edits the as the sign right there. If you just put the same corners where you're facing at, and say text uh, two, oh no, text two. Error occur while attempting to perform the command. The reason why is that 
Just an unknown care, uh, unknown error, because you forgot to put text one. Like you can't just start like that. You have to put something like this text, then just do this. Like put nothing in there. Close curly brace, uh, quotation. Then there you go. It'll give you. Oops, something happened here. How am I doing that again? It uses scroll keys going up and down through the chat if you try to load any previous command. There, and I guess I guess you can't really you can't really change change the sign once it's messed up. So you basically have to do it again, unfortunately. But yeah, but that's how come you need to start. You have to always start with, with something like that. You have to start at text one first, then you can start at your middle. And that's why we use signs so we don't get that kind of big text for the, for the armor stand. So that's why we were using the the sign, the command, and then you put your command. So that's why we use signs, and then we right click them. So you can have these kind of colors, like it says dog right there. Oh yeah, and also I kind of left out this. Where is it? The book. There it is. You can also use use format text using using a book and quill. You can't use it in commands, unfortunately. So you would have to get this kind of symbol. I'll show, show you right now. Put it down, okay. You have to put this, okay. I guess you can't, I can't show it to you in text, text but I'll send you a description. You paste some sort of symbol. Which, if you can barely see it, it'll ask you some suggestions. Which I'll put one for dark blue. That's how it works. Or if you want to put that little symbol for formatting, for formatting the the text, you want to have bold. You put you put the symbol in L, so now it's bolded. Or let's say you want to have multiple, you want to underline. So that'll be N, I think it is. Yeah, N. Reset unfortunately doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, it does. So you put you put the symbol then R to reset. Let's say you want a rainbow cut. You want a different a. Let's see. Uh, let's put a pattern just like Mr. Fire we did earlier. Put four. Symbol. Then you put another symbol. Then L bolded. M. Oh no, it's put F for fire. Paste symbol, put six for gold. Paste symbol, L bold, I. Paste symbol, then E for yellow. Paste symbol, L bold, R. Paste symbol, then let's go back to a red, dark red. Four, paste symbol, L, fire, like that. That's how you use it. Then go back to paste symbol R reset. 
if you go back, it will tell you which symbol you want to use again. So let's say we want dark blue. Oh, actually, I put blue, actually. That's what 9 is. But that's how you would... That's how you use formatted... That's how you use different colors on books. Unfortunately, you can't put click event. I haven't tried it yet, but... But... But that's how you would use it in a book. I'll send you a description, uh, the link to Gamepedia.com about helping you to do different formats for the... Okay, I forgot what I was saying, okay. To help you do different formats for the books and, and for colored text on, for floating text or, or colored text on mobs as well. And also, for books, if you're trying to if you're trying to put your authors really long for written books, like I forgot to mention, don't make them super long. Like like don't add like when you're adding like rainbow text to the books. Also, when you're adding like rain like like let's say yes, you're using a pattern, but. Try not to make every single letter with different formats, like bold, underlined, italics, obfuscated. Like if you're trying to put them, um, like reset them in different colors and everything, it will give you something like invalid, invalid book tag. That's if you were to. That's just a, as a warning. Like, like yes, you can make them cool text, but, but don't make them, don't make them too, too fancy. Actually, what, what, what? Sorry, what I'm saying is. It can't be it can't be too much of a different change of a of the title name. Like just like its pattern. Like we have more than like you have like a bigger title. Like instead of Mr. Fire you have Mr. Arcade machine or something like that. Or a, like a, a kinda like a, a medium sized title. But if you have something like a pattern it it might not work. It might say invalid book type. So invalid book type would usually mean that, that the title is too long. So, it's a warning, actually. So yeah, well, that's it. So, bye, and may God bless you all.